hey y'all welcome back to my channel so today's video i'm like really 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 anxious to do because i didn't know if i was gonna do this as a video because i was scared i'm not gonna lie but i want to go ahead and just be raw and completely honest with y'all i feel like i owe y'all that so today we are going to be trying and reviewing and using the fancy beauty powder foundation um yeah so i'm excited i haven't used a powder foundation in probably since like high school honestly like a uh, little backstory like i used to wear nothing but um the black radiance y'all remember those the little black radiance black uh powder foundation that's all i used to wear and i take that little brush i was in there and i rub it all over my face and i would be late to my second period history class because i would be in the bathroom putting on my powder foundation <laughs> And it would be so orange and I'd put so much like just <laughs> I have so much because I couldn't really blend it out for that little brush, but you could tell me I wasn't that chick though. You could not tell me. I like I have to see if I have a picture. Like if I have a picture, I'll insert it. But yeah. It was bad. <laughs> but I have really good hopes for this. So, you know, Rihanna looks good as the fuck. So hopefully this makes me look like, you know, like a chocolate plus size Riri. But you know who who knows so the packaging says medium to full coverage for all light as air flawless filter effect so y'all know i am a liquid type of girl i need all the coverage i want all of the cake all of the build i want it all so i am shade 440 in their liquid so that's what i got in the powder because i think it goes together but do your research before you just do that oh you look like me. Powders can be kind of deceiving though also. So maybe it'll blend out really good when I get it on the skin. But this is 440. I'm really excited. So it comes with the little mirror up there, which I think is just so cute. Really like chic. You know, like in the movies, you see like the puff puff or whatever. And then it also comes with this little, it's just a regular little sponge. Like, um... Just like the regular like cosmetic wedges you get out of the store. This stuff is cut like a cute hexagon. So, you know. I'm not going to use that because I just think it's cute and I want to keep that in there. Oh, it's another mirror. Oh, this one's magnifying. Or is this? Yeah, I think this one is magnifying. The bottom one is a magnifying one. So, before we even get ready to touch any type of this, we have to prep and get ready. So, when you're using a... Well, with any makeup, your base is important. I feel like I stress this in all of my videos just because I feel like people don't really, like, take enough effort into their bases and wonder why their makeup doesn't last. Like, you have this $50 foundation or this really bomb foundation, and then you're not even getting ready to put the foundation on. That's just like painting a wall, you know what I mean? Like, you get ready to paint a wall, you don't paint it before you prime it. So, you know, yeah. So, I'm going to be starting off with a moisturizer first i normally don't do this but i'm doing it today because i'm using a powder foundation all over my face which i normally don't do and rihanna says it doesn't crease or transfer or you know get cakey or anything like that but i'm prepping anyway because you also want this foundation to really glide on the skin because it is a powder so you know you really need that you really need the the glide and all the extraness and you want your skin hydrated underneath that way it doesn't look dry you know you know what i mean that's just like it's just kind of like helping two plus two equal four you know what i mean like it's just it's just things that you have to do so first i'm taking my peter thomas roth water drenched hyaluronic acid cloud cream hydrating moisturizer this is like hands down one of my favorite moisturizers like of all time it is great for all skin types i'm just rub this in and upward motions always remember that uh, your little aesthetics tip of the day free skincare advice without the consultation prices <laughs> so moisturizers on now i'm taking my milk hydrating grip primer keep the word hydrating in the back of your mind i'm not taking as much as i normally do i normally do like four today i'm only doing like two because i don't want to look I don't want to ruin the foundation. You know what I mean? Like, it's a mattifying foundation, so I don't want to do, too, like, too much hydrating this because I do want the powder to still be able to grip. So, yeah, that's why I'm doing that. Oh, I could have used 
I should have used the Fenty primer, huh? Well, this on now. <laughs> um, if you have the soft matte primer, you should probably do that. Uh, I, I, I didn't think this through. So, we are going to go in with our e.l.f. putty primer. This is basically, like, still my regular priming stuff. It's just an extra layer of moisturizer, you know, just for just for safekeeping. So, I'm going to go in with a little bit of color correct. I'm taking my Dragon Beauty um, Orange. Excuse me. My Dragon Beauty Skin Fire is the official name of it. Color correct. And I'm just taking a little under the eye. Um, just a little bit around the mouth. I don't want to do too much today just because I really want to see the pure coverage of the um, foundation. So I'm not going to do a whole lot of color corrects. All right. So just a little backstory. If you are new to powder foundations, if you're not new, then you can skip this segment. But I highly recommend that you listen. So if you're new to powder foundation, uh, back in the day, like when I first got into makeup, I noticed that people were putting powder foundation on top of liquid foundation. And I always thought like, what the fuck are you doing? That's not what it's for. Powder foundation is the foundation all of, all of its own. It's not meant to set any liquid foundation. So like I said, I am a liquid type of girl. That's just who I am. It's in my blood. I live, breathe, and sleep full coverage foundation. I do. So that's just like fyi that's not what this foundation is for it is a standalone product she bad all on her own period so i'm still gonna go in with my normal face just not the foundation until last so what you want to do is all of your liquids all of your creams stuff like that you want to go in with that stuff first so we're gonna still go in with fire color corrector like we just did and i'm gonna go on with my concealer as i normally would but i don't think that i'm going to do a cream contour today you know, I don't think so. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so with all that being said, um, we're starting off with our liquids. So I do not have the Fenty Beauty Concealer. I don't have that. But it is a very lightweight, buildable concealer. So I feel like it would be very similar to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So that's what I'm going to be using today. And I use the shade Custard, which is in the, um, I think it's like a medium too. Um, also similar to this, I guess it would be like the Hourglass Concealer, um, if we're talking like Prestige. I don't know like any lightwear, really liquidy drugstore concealers. I guess I can look into that, like a drugstore dupe for these. Um, so I guess I can do that in another video. But yeah, this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I'm taking this in all of the areas I normally um would and how I normally do my concealer. You know, I like to think that I have one of the strongest concealed games in the in the beauty industry. You know. So we're gonna go in here. Just like, you know, just like normal. Nothing, nothing's nothing's changed except, you know, I don't have a full cake of foundation on it. I mean nothing's I feel fine do you feel fine all right and we look like this you know nothing 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 different so I'm taking my beauty blender we're gonna blend this out A freaking ladybug just flew up in here out of nowhere. I don't even know where it came from. I don't know why they are so bad this shit, but I cannot stand no ladybug. Number one, they make so much noise because they shell so hard. I cannot stand no ladybug. Ugh. Okay, back to the back to the glam. You're so uh, scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> all right, so now that all my liquids and my creams are blended out. Feel um fuck wittable, of course. Um, I'm going to be taking my Tati Beauty Blendiful to blend out my powder foundation. I'm really excited because I ordered two of these and I never even got to use them. So you know, you get like a two-in-one review. Um, because Rihanna used the thing in the in the um, she used the little sponge that I showed you. Oh, and then this comes with the big Tati poof, and then it also comes with the little heart-shaped one. So really cute. Um, and I just feel like this would be perfect to 
blend out this foundation because I want a more full coverage type of type of go with this go with this beat. So let's get into it, girl. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Y'all remember Josh film vacation when he was driving that thing like this? <laughs> All right, so Rihanna has like perfect skin. I do not have perfect skin, obviously. Um, she also used like a little tapered uh brush. Uh, let me see. Yeah, she used like a little tapered head brush. This is not the Fenty Beauty one, and she also like dusted it off with like a softer coverage. So if that's what you're going for, a more natural, no makeup, makeup type of look, be my guess. You want to grab a brush to do this next up, but not me. Like I spend this money so I don't look like myself. Of course. So we are gonna go ahead. I'm like really nervous. I'm not gonna lie. What if I don't look good? So we're gonna go ahead and take our puff. Y'all, look how this just... Okay, did you see... Oh, bitch. Oh, my. Y'all, go get this found. Y'all. Oh, my God. And I'm not like going directly over um, my highlight areas. I'm gonna set that with actual powder, but I'm like blending the edges. Oh my god! Oh my god! Y'all, go get this. Do you see this? This looks like I just had like a regular foundation on. Uh, Y'all! Uh, oh my god! Uh, Rihanna done changed the goddamn game, y'all. Do you see this? Y'all. I'm, I'm so obsessed. I'm so obsessed. And this is not even, like, a lot of product either. Like, I literally just did, like, one swipe. Like, literally. Okay. Two swipes, okay? Do you, do you see, do you see this? I knew it said buildable, but I was not, I honestly was not expecting to get like a regular, this gives me regular liquid foundation vibes. Like if I wasn't doing this video, y'all probably wouldn't even know like this is a powder foundation. Oh. It is hitting. Y'all, look, it is even covering up my neck, which is slightly darker than my face. I am just living for this foundation. <gasps> I may not. I, this may make me change my. This may be my new favorite foundation. Uh, I don't think y'all understand the excitement that I have for this foundation right now. Uh, I am beautiful. I look no fucker, girl. Rapping. Uh, Rapping that did the damn thing. Rapping. Let me go show my mama. foundation look I'm just so glad y'all got to witness this with me okay okay Robin did the damn thing period <laughs> what else oh what else we need to do um we're gonna go in now with the same poof and I am going to um set underneath my eyes 
Um, I lost my damn train of thought. Bitch looks so damn good. Okay, so today I'm taking my Laura Mercy A um, translucent honey powder. And this poof is so nice, guys. It's like doing all the work for me. And I just feel so pretty and soft. Like... Uh, 10 stars highly recommend tell a friend okay oh my god oh my god uh, y'all if this is not a beat I don't know what is this is not giving what I thought it was gonna give. Like, honestly, y'all, like, if you don't go get this foundation, you need this. Honestly, 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 you need this foundation. This is beautiful. This is magical. You need this. You need this. You need this. Please go get this. If y'all don't, if y'all don't ever buy anything else that I recommend do yourself this favor and get this wow am I really that pretty <laughs> I guess the fuck so I feel I feel magical like a like a fucking fairy or something all right so to bronze up my face I'm taking my mocha mommy um Fenty beauty bronzer I love this bronzer so much I love a good brick red bronzy effect. You know what I'm saying? So. And it just blends. It just, it just blends out with everything, guys. Like, this foundation looks so good. I'm really surprised. I don't know why I'm surprised. Because it's, it's coming from Fenty, a brand that we love and trust. But it's like, it's powder. So, I don't know. I guess I just held it to that same standard of powder foundations you know what i mean the last powder foundation i bought it was the Too faced when they had those born this way you know with the gold dials i think it's in here somewhere that was the last powder foundation i got and honestly i got it for under the eyes you know just for like that extra brightness under there but i get or you know like sometimes you're going with like a little extra powder on your clients you know so I had like some of like the L'Oreal Infallible powders. Not the newer ones because I did realize they released a newer collection. This was back when they were like black and red and they weren't swirly. Just plain packaging. But guys. Honestly, y'all need this. This is just like such a game changer. Because it's so lightweight and it's so breathable. Because you really don't have that much. Um, You really don't have that much product on your face right now. Like. It don't even feel, it doesn't even feel like I have makeup on. And that's like true shit. Like, you know. I just feel so freaking cute. Like, so sun-kissed. Like, so. I feel like I just like laid out on a beach or something. And I like it because my skin is still like showing like my little imperfections. You know what I mean? Like. So it looks like just oh you know she took a little she took a little extra five minutes today. She doesn't have on a full beat, but it's still giving full beat. You know what I mean? Like I'm just freaking obsessed. I'm just I'm obsessed. So um I'm taking my hustler baby <laughs> me and money highlighter, and I really only use hustler baby just because I feel like me and money is just a little bit too pale for me. So, I'm a hustler, baby. I just want you to know, ain't where I've been, but where I'm about to go. Oh, so give it to me. Give me that, uh, that sweet, that nasty, that uh, she stuff. But don't push me. Uh, give me that fuck, that sweet, that nasty. Oh. It's the gag of it all for me. It's the fact.
foundation for me. It's the no liquid foundation for me. All right, so I'm going to take my NARS Extreme Climax um, Mascara real quick. All right, and to keep this all in the family, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Up to No Good Lipstick. Of course, it's another peachy new. What else? Yeah, my MAC um, Gold Fix Plus setting spray. Real lightly, because I don't want to take away from the face, really. I just want like, a little extra, you know, like. Bitch, I'm here. Yeah. Bitch, I'm here. All right, y'all, so this is the final look. I'm trying to decide if I want to put these lashes on or not. I don't know. I feel, like, really cute without them. So I don't think we're going to put a little lash on there. Why not? But yeah, this is the final look. Um, lash or no lash, whatever. I still feel like that bitch.net. Um, I just really want this foundation to like just shine because look at me. So cute. So guys, without that being said, well, what was I trying to say? Uh so y'all, um, all that being said. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Five stars, you need this foundation. Suggest to all my friends, you need to get this foundation, period. I love this. So y'all, please be sure to give this video a big likes, thumbs up. Um, Subscribe and turn on your post notifications. Let me know down in the comments any other foundations that you want me to review. I have a couple more foundation review videos coming within this week and next week. Just so I don't like overwhelm you with newness and products. So, I love y'all. I'll see y'all in my next video.